let us make a multi scene story so the first scene we typically like to start with a title so what we do we go to backdrop and we can start with a clean background use a text box to give the title so for instance we are saying nandi the elephant the story the story of the purple elephant okay you can change the size of it the color of it whatever you like now we would want on the first scene to place nandi somewhere here maybe now for every scene it is very important to code all the characters okay please note it's very very important to make a clean modular story which is easy to debug so when i say a modular story every scene should make it very clear which characters are visible in the backdrop code this in the backdrop code we want to say when create flag clicked the first thing we want it to switch backdrop to and now we want to give proper names to the backdrop so that when you have many many scenes there's no confusion so we'll call it title so switch backdrop to title now on this title scene now we're not going to have the code on when the flag clicked for the character we're going to have the code for the for scene so we come to event and we pick up when backdrop switches to title okay then what do we want to do we want to position the elephant here we want to position so when backdrop switches to title we want to position nandi right here and we'll go to look and we'll do show these are minimum two lines of code you must have for every character in every scene where the show and height the third thing which is also very good to have is costume because if you have many costumes it's good to say that in this scene what is the costume you want to show for the character so for the scene we have set nandi now let's also set mama elephant so what we want to do is again we we'll take the event when backdrop switches to title we do not want to show at all so we want to hide okay so that's our first scene you can add music here and the title is playing you can say something whatever you like now we coming back to the switch backdrop code the backdrop code section now we want after showing title for few seconds so let's show title for 5 seconds now we want the story to start with scene 1 now our scene 1 is this forest i'm going to name it scene 1 forest so we are going to switch backdrop to scene 1 forest when this scene 1 forest we want so now we don't need switch backdrop because we have already written this switching backdrop in our backdrop code so i'm going to remove this now here we want to say that when the backdrop switches to scene 1 forest now we want only to come to this position want it to be visible 
we wanted to see a dialogue. So when you click on just this pivot code, it will execute. So you'll be able to see the position setting. So we'll just click on it. Now we want our mama elephant also to be visible here. So what we're going to do, so we already have code for her. Huh? So we're going to take the event when back box just to semen forest. We want mama elephant to be shown. Now in scene 2, we already have this. There's going to be a dialogue. It's going to broadcast Y and B. Then the mama elephant is going to respond. And then Ruby element is uh, going to say, I can do anything on this message. And this is where the scene 2 is coming to an end. Now there are two ways to see to it. So right here, when our scene 1 is coming to end, what we can do is we can add, we can move to the next scene. So we come to look and we say switch backdrop to our next scene. So what is our next scene? So let's first identify and name it. Okay, so I've taken this pathway. So we're going to name it scene to is this pathway. So baby elephant to finishing this dialogue switches back to to scene to pathway. Now we're going to repeat this for scene two. Now what do we want to happen in scene two? Let's decide. So say in scene two we want our baby elephants to be here and mama elephant to be somewhere slightly visible. Yeah. So let's go with this. So our code for mama elephants is we have to start with an event. What is the event? When backdrop switches to scene to pathway, we want to set its position. So we're going to use go to block and we're going to say that I am visible. Okay, again, as I said, it's always good to have also setting of the costume. So now I'm going to come to baby elephant and I can actually now copy this code block. So I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to bring it here. Now be careful. I'm going to change to scene 2. So when I say when you copy and paste, be careful that you're making the corrections. Otherwise, you may end up just copying and pasting the code and leaving it wrongly put. Now in scene to pathway, we want the position to be in different positions. So we pick up, pick up this position and we remove it, we replace it with this. Say we also record a different sound here. So we can do that. Different Going to the closure. Going to the enclosure. And the code choose sent. Okay. Now what we want that after seeing this, a baby elephant, Nandi, goes here, and we want to zoom into this. Okay. So let's first see how do we zoom into something, into a scene in Scratch. So we're going to come to backdrop. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. 
Now, after duplicating, now I am in bitmap mode. Okay. How do I know I am in bitmap mode? Because it says convert to vector. So right now it is bitmap. I am going to select this and I am going to just choose this part. And I am going to copy it. Now I am going to, after copying, I am going to new and I am going to paste. Now you see I am in vector mode. How do I know I am vector mode? It says convert the map. And it also has a way to expand the image. Okay. So it is a very small hut at the back. Just look at it. Now we have got the seal 3 Okay, so you don't need this to prepare for and just no delete. So now coming back to the elephant, and after going to the enclosure, I'm going to add the backdrop change. So it's going to switch backdrop to C3 the hat. Now when the scene comes here, again we don't want to show mama elephant. So what we can do is we can take this code block, we can duplicate, we can bring it, we can drag it down and then we say when that crop switches to scene 3, hide. Item. So, this is a very, very important part to do. For every scene, you must specifically tell every character what it needs to be doing. This will help you, your story to be very easy to flow, especially when you're going to be creating long stories. In short stories, it doesn't matter if you mess it up a little bit, it's easy to troubleshoot. Now let's play this and see. Different Nandi, the boy. Different Jano, the Dinamal Sister. Now, we notice that there was two things which need to be fixed. One is the mama elephant in the scene, scene 2, was actually facing the other way. Because we chose this as the costume. We would have liked to choose this. So we back, go back to the code and we fix it. The second issue is the baby elephant is somewhere in the air. We want the baby elephant to be standing more in the ground. Okay, so we are going to change the position and we can directly do it by looking at the coordinates. And so we continue the story. Now look, let us look at how this kind of story making lends to modular story. So the way we have designed the story, we can see that on the green object, we have only got title and switch backdrop to scene one. So suppose you have made 10 scenes. Now every time you don't want to Keep playing the whole thing to make your scene, you know, even third, fourth, fifth scene. You want to work on that scene. So right here, what you can do is you can switch to scene three and play. And this is also optional. You can even remove the 
backdrop code and directly you can get to the scene. So using this method, you have a very easy and simplified way of story making. Have fun, create some very interesting stories in such a way that absorb your audience and you get to really, really visually with animation, with your narration, enjoy making it. Have fun. Bye-bye.